This is Frankie Catafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho. 643 is the time for you on this very foggy Wednesday morning. We are continuing, unfortunately, to see some of that fog just getting worse and worse, and it's looking a lot like cloud coverage through our clouds and precipitation graphic. Now, this is a peek at what's been happening at ID4 and Orchard. The good news is, even though we're not seeing improvement in most areas, we're seeing just slight improvement at 84 and Orchard. I mean, conditions were much worse about an hour or so ago, so just a little bit more clear, but you can still see very much that fog in the haze in the background. But here's a look at some of those numbers in regards to visibility. We are down to about a half mile between Ontario and Boise. If you're heading down towards Mountain Home, just over a mile of visibility, but then heading further east towards Gooding, down to about a quarter mile. Now, everything that you're seeing here in gray is under this dense fog advisory, and that's going to stay in effect until at least 8 o'clock this morning. Now, we're going to see that that's lifted because some wind should be moving into the forecast. High clouds should really start to lift some of this, this fog. So something to look forward to. However, in, in the meantime, just be mindful that a lot of this fog is creating some slick surfaces because of the cooler temperature temperatures and some of the moisture in the air. Treasure Valley high temperatures for today well into the 40s, 47 degrees for Boise, 48 for CUNA and 47 down in uh, Mountain Home. Taking a look at the West Central Mountains, we are anticipating some snow showers for today, but temperatures, I mean, they're going to be all over the board. 37 degrees will be that high in Pine and Featherville, 48 though in places like Riggin, 35 just across the way in McCall. Now moving into the East Central Mountains, we will see some slightly drier conditions in places like Fairfield or Sun Valley, but in places like Stanley, we can anticipate some morning snow showers. 37 degrees degrees will be the high temperature over in Stanley and the Magic Valley mostly cloudy conditions high 40s across the board 50 degrees though if you're going to be in Burley so you can anticipate a high of 50 degrees that seven day extended forecast here in the Treasure Valley is telling us we kind of have the week of all weather so to speak we kind of have the the nice cloudy conditions we have the nice mostly sunny conditions we have a little bit of wet weather a little bit of rain a little bit of snow a little mix of the two now in regards to what we can expect for your Wednesday I mean we have a lot of different weather happening all across the board here is a look at that uh, extended forecast and your future cast going into about 2 p.m. Possible just on the outskirts of Boise. We could see maybe just a real brief rain shower, but we're seeing that widespread snow throughout most of those east and west central mountains. That's really going to continue for most of today. Going into tomorrow, we can expect some cooler conditions, but we will have partly cloudy conditions for your Thursday, partly cloudy for your Friday, but we will see some more cloud coverage rolling into the forecast for Saturday. And this day, believe it or not, doesn't look like much on the Treasure Valley extended forecast, but that is the day we are seeing the most significant storm coming through to bring us really some notable snow to those higher elevations. Now, what those totals are looking like. It's kind of a little too early to say, but it does look promising. And then heading into the rest of the weekend, even into early next week, you'll see that we do have perfect conditions to continue seeing that wet weather trend. Valley rain often translating to some mountain snow.